Take this opportunity, Ada. Um, I'm sure you heard um, in our uh, bigger plans, and I'm sure Prime Minister has spoken about it many times in Parliament and other places, we are trying to have this cardiology program. Um, so to give a little background, um, personal suffering heart attacks, as, as, as we would know it in the general terms, the sooner they initiate treatment care, if there's a blockage in the arteries in the heart, the sooner you unblock those arteries. After the initial uh, period of heart attack, that muscle can be resuscitated and be functional. And often the, the time between the initial attack and, and that uh, initiation where the, the blood clots to the heart are actually broken down to allow the blood flow to return to the heart is critical. Because if you don't do it in a, in a timely fashion, that muscle dies and then subsequently heart attack, you have people with uh, cardiac failures and stuff. What, what does that mean? That person can no longer return to a normal quality of life. I mean, you get a shot of breath just going from here to the bus stop or walking the stairs. So really, truly, that person cannot return because the heart is not pumping. As Ms. Hill would know, as a fuel pump does not function properly, you can't go past a certain speed. <laughs> and that's the analogy you can use for persons in car term. So um, as part of this cardiology program, we've had done a number of things. Um, we're going to be launching it uh, from the hospital perspective in the next couple of weeks. Um, Mr. Harris, Tony Harris, is going to speak about it more. But from an ambulance service perspective, in the last few weeks and months, we've been doing things like um, getting equipment, the, the monitors, the, the same amount of pulse, uh, equipping the ambulance with itself, communication devices uh, through a local uh, st service provider uh, to, to be able to transmit and send the ECG tracing, other, other vital um, measurements from the monitor to the accident emergency way ahead of the patient arriving so that the person in the accident emergency are seeing what's happening and uh, preparing for this patient. So it's, it's pretty much an like evolution of the ambulance system from a scoop and run to actually persons of their admissions can critical in the, uh, uh, initiatives and interventions that we can salvage that heart and actually return to full capacity so that person go back to normal life, quality of life, and not be a burden in the healthcare system. And you hear a lot more about this cardiac program. As you've heard general terms about it, the details of it are going to be coming forth in the next couple of weeks as other providers beside the hospital, other private facilities who are also seeing patients with chest pain and, and cardiac problems as, as first contact, but also be part of this program in all in the drive and the um, intention of salvaging and, and rescuing the heart muscle to return to full capacity and normalcy so that we can continue having a, a good quality of life rather than coming up and asking emergency every couple of weeks with heart failure and being in bed and, and taking up vital resources. Mm -hmm.